Another end to a picture-perfect day along the Emerald Coast of Florida. But as gentle as the waves seem now, residents here are all too familiar of what happens when a hurricane approaches, and the waves go from a gentle lap to a raging force. Hurricane Ian had a tremendous impact on our community. We lost uh, 400,000 cubic yards of sand off our beaches, and we lost our dunes, and we lost our our vegetative uh, structures in front of the dunes. A lot of storm uh, surge, and, um, and we're working our way back from that. The community also experienced widespread damage to homes, businesses, and critical infrastructure. Prior to Hurricane Ian striking this part of Florida, the Norfolk District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, was working on a study to identify ways to help mitigate the risk to this low-lying area from similar storms. Some of the measures that we're considering in the feasibility study include structural and non-structural and beach and dew nourishment. But as the team was wrapping up the report in 2022, they hit a bit of a snag. We were working on our final report and we were denied for an environmental compliance policy exception, which caused us to pause the study and the study uh, expired before we were able to uh, finish the final report and publish that for public review. The study sat dormant but the Norfolk District team didn't sit idly by. In collaboration with Collier County, they put together a request to get the study going again, and they were successful. The team received approval for additional time and money to reinitiate the study, which they are in the process of doing. Meanwhile, during the downtime from the end of the last unfinished study to the current reinitiated study, Hurricane Ian battered the Florida coastline and the storm is giving the team a chance to evaluate the impacts to the area. We are looking at um, damage that it has occurred from Hurricane Ian, looking to see how the conditions have changed as a result of Ian, and really trying to take in uh, new and updated information, which will influence our formulation for the Coastal Storm Risk Management Study. Studies of this nature highlight the close partnership needed between the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and local entities to benefit and reduce risk to local communities. It's about partnership, partnership with Collier County as we uh, restart uh, the feasibility for the coastal storm risk management. And it's uh, working with uh, the county and uh, doing site visits and, and understanding what the project is about. Without that partnership, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers wouldn't be able to fully understand the intricacies of the problem and how certain solution sets go for or against the will of the local citizens and governing bodies. In the case of Collier County, the reinitiated study is giving planners a chance to bring in officials from the county, the cities of Naples and Marco Island, as well as the local public to help put forth a plan, which will help reduce the risks from coastal storms while attempting to fit it in with local expectations. We got a lot of uh, ideas talked about. We got a lot of, of uh, critical items resolved on which way we're going to go. So the Corps has been nothing but helpful and we thank uh, Norfolk District for that. Reporting from Naples, Florida, Patrick Bloodgood.